Hello, and welcome to the Nebulized Colistin Dilution Training video. My name is Cece, and I'm a transplant pharmacist, and I'm very excited to talk to you about how to mix your colistin nebulizers. This video will outline the following. Why you are taking this medication, what supplies you will need for dilution, how to complete the dilution, how to use and store the dilution. Colistin is an antibacterial medication that is used to prevent bacterial infections. It is a nebulized medication that you breathe in to help target bacteria in the lungs and prevent them from growing. You will need the following supplies. One colistin 150 milligram vial, one 10 milliliter sterile water for injection vial, two three milliliter syringes, two hypodermic safety needles, one three milliliter sodium chloride for inhalation packet, and two alcohol wipes. The first step is to always wash your hands. You wanna make sure that your hands are clean so that you can make your nebulized colistin in the safest way possible. The next step is to gather all of your supplies. Once you have your supplies in order, then you should open one alcohol wipe and clean off the top of the colistin vial to ensure that it is sterile. You will then repeat this step with a new alcohol wipe and clean the top of the sterile water for injection vial. The next step is to remove a three milliliter syringe from its package. Then manipulate the plunger up and down to ensure it is working appropriately, being careful not to touch the inside of the plunger or the top of the syringe as it is currently sterile. You will then remove one of your hypodermic safety needles from its package, being careful not to touch the hub of the needle and twist it onto the top of your syringe. You will then pull the plunger back to two milliliters so that you can introduce air into the sterile water vial to help equalize the pressure inside of the vial. Once you have the plunger pulled back to two milliliters, swiftly pull off the protective cover from the needle. You will then push the needle through the top of the rubber stopper on the sterile water vial. Once the needle is through the stopper and into the vial, you will pick up the vial and the syringe, invert them, and push the air into the vial. Then draw up two milliliters of sterile water into your syringe. Make sure there are no air bubbles in the syringe and that the top of the plunger is even with the two milliliter mark on your three milliliter syringe. Next, put the vial back on the tabletop and remove the needle from the top of the vial. Then you will push the needle of the syringe filled with sterile water through the rubber stopper on the colistin vial. Next, slowly depress the plunger on the syringe until the entire volume of the syringe has been injected into the colistin vial. Next, you will pick up the colistin vial and swirl gently to mix. Do not shake the vial as this will make the medicine foam. Now that the colistin vial is mixed appropriately, you are ready to draw up your dose. Remove a three milliliter syringe from its package. Then manipulate the plunger up and down to ensure it is working appropriately. You will then remove one of your hypodermic safety needles from its package and twist it onto the top of your syringe. You will then pull the plunger back to one or two milliliters, depending on your dose, so that you can introduce air into the colistin vial to help equalize the pressure inside of the vial. If your dose is 75 milligrams, you will pull the plunger back one milliliter. If your dose is 150 milligrams, you will pull the plunger back two milliliters. Once you have the plunger pulled back, swiftly pull off the protective cover from the needle. You will then push the needle through the top of the rubber stopper on the colistin vial. The next step is to pick up the vial and the syringe, invert them, and push the air into the vial. 
draw up one or two milliliters of the colistin dilution, depending on your dose, making sure that the top of the plunger is even with the one or two milliliter mark on your syringe. If your dose is 75 milligrams, draw up one milliliter. If your dose is 150 milligrams, draw up two milliliters. Next, put the vial back on the tabletop and remove the syringe from the vial. You now have your dose. You can inject this dose into your nebulizer cup. Then you will take your sodium chloride for inhalation unit dose packet and open the top of the packet. If your colistin dose is 75 milligrams, pour two milliliters of the sodium chloride for inhalation into the nebulizer cup. If your colistin dose is 150 milligrams, pour one milliliter of the sodium chloride for inhalation into your nebulizer cup. You will now have a total of three milliliters in the cup. Then you will discard the remaining packet. Congratulations, you have now successfully diluted your colistin and made your first dose. The next important part of this process is how to appropriately store your dilution and your supplies. It is important to note that the diluted product is only good for one hour after you add the sterile water, and therefore you should never make more than one dose at a time. Your extra supplies should be stored in a clean, cool, and dry place so that they are ready for your next dilution. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope that you learned something today about nebulized colistin dilution. Please let your pharmacist or transplant coordinator know if you have any additional questions or concerns about this process. They are always happy and willing to help.